welcome and if you're not new welcome back please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so that you will get notified every time I post a new video so today we are going to be doing a budget with me yes we are gonna sit down and I will let you know about my finances for the month of November so if you would like to know more then stay tuned all right guys I am back and I am here with my Erin Condren Deluxe Planner. Um, this planner, it is literally just line note paper with a month ahead. I usually fill this out, but I have not done it this month. Um, and then we just have line notes. One, two, three, four, I think five. Yeah, so we have five sheets for each month. Um, so I honestly use each sheet for my first sheet. I usually put my financial goals here on the second sheet is where I write out my monthly budget. On the third sheet, I put my paycheck to paycheck budgets. And then on the last two pages, I will have my sinking funds listed out here. And then I will have my debt payment and my debt payment plan listed here so today we are just going to work on my monthly budget and i also have stickers because just writing out a budget it gets pretty boring so you kind of don't want to go back to it sometimes i purchase stickers other times i will just write it out with my different color mouth liner highlighters that i have so these come in multiple colors get a little more on the expensive side for highlighters but i make it well worth it and i use them often so there's a few of those when i don't want to purchase stickers because the stickers can get expensive when you are buying them monthly so let's go ahead and get started um i lay these out at the top of the planner And I meant to tell you guys that these stickers are from Romina Rosa. Um, she has an Etsy shop. She also has an Instagram and a YouTube. I like the way that the designs that she has every month and also how she splits her variable and fixed expenses, which I think is really nice. So I kind of just lay everything out. Kind of get me started and doesn't it look so much better than just having a piece of white paper with black writing on it it's it's honestly pretty boring so this kind of spruces, spruces it up so then we have the income line items So what I will be writing on here is just paycheck number one, paycheck number two, and rental income. Now, I will not be sharing my income with you all. Um, for one, people from my work could be viewing my channel. So I will not, I do not want any controversy when they find out how much money I make. So we're just gonna leave that off, but you will know how much my expenses are every month and kind of gather an estimate of what I do make and what I do live off each month. So then we have our variable. Well, first, let's do another split here. And 
And this is also a little time consuming, so just want to get to it and just write out everything that's fine. But I feel like once you write it out, you kind of don't want to go back to it. And this kind of pushes you to go for it, I would say. So we have the variable column. And then we have the fixed column. So variable expenses are expenses that could change each month, like your water, your electric, and any other items that you have. So this month, my variable expenses are water which I am budgeting $50 for and then I have cable and internet which I budget $60 for now so water and cable comes out at the beginning of the month. These two won't get paid until I receive paycheck number two because of the way of the days that I get paid. So paycheck number one doesn't come until this Friday, which is the 8th. But water and cable were due on the 3rd and the 6th. So this actually came out of my October's last paycheck so these are both for December so here I'll just put December just to know next we have cell phone which I budget $80 for um, this $80 is actually for me and my mother she pays my car insurance and I pay her cell phone bill being that I'm still under her car insurance and yes my car insurance is more than 40 bucks <laughs> but she um yes my car insurance is more than 40 bucks but the cell phone bill was originally 185 we actually just switched over to a different plan which saved me tremendously so I went from paying 185 to $80 a month which is a complete blessing the next item is my electric bill which I budget $60 for now before I go any further I will say that for my water my cable my electric my rent and my renter's insurance it is split in half with my boyfriend so these numbers are pretty low if you are wondering the next is my ninja payment this is actually some cpa materials that i pay for monthly i usually put it in my fixed expenses because it is the same amount but i'm not sure if i am going to be renewing it this month it all depends on whether or not I am going to pass my test. The next item is my spending account. Every pay period, I get $300 automatically sent to a different account. And that is because I spend everything out of this. So you won't see in my budget groceries, anything from getting my nails done, my hair done, gas, all of that comes out of this $600. Once I run out of this $600, that's it. I just can't spend any more money until I get paid again and the $300 is replenished. So now we have sinking funds. And this month it went up and I'm going to allocate $393. I actually might be allocating more, but 
I won't know for sure until later on in the month because I do want to raise my Christmas fund up a little bit. And then I'm budgeting for my extra debt payment, which this month I want to put an extra 451. And then I want to put more money into my emergency fund. which is going to be 250. And then I have a line item for unbudgeted. And this is $0. This is $0 because it's technically unbudgeted. It's kind of a non-existing account. Sometimes I may spend over what I have budgeted for the month. Um, if I do, it actually comes out of my bill account. So I just like to make note of what's there. So now that that is done, we can move over to fixed expenses. Go ahead and put the total down here. All right, so my first fixed expense is rent. And by the way, the way that I line these up is by their due dates. So my rent is due on the first, which is 825. And then I have my renter's insurance, which is 867. <laughs> Next is Apple, which I pay $2.99 for, for iCloud for me and my nephews to have more storage. Um, he has 50 million apps on his phone and so do I. So an extra $3 a month is not going to hurt me at all. Next, I have my mortgage. Now, why is my mortgage all the way down here when I go from my pay dates? It is because my mortgage is not due until the 15th, as well as my HOA fees. So, I get those automatically drafted out of my account on the 15th. And then I have law. Um, I guess people will call this a debt, but there was no interest being paid on it. We actually bought a mattress from law um, and we just pay on that monthly until it is paid off, which will be in April of next year. Um, I don't consider it a debt. I just feel consider it a bill payment. And then we have my car which is 378.44. I am hoping to have this paid off by October, November of 2020, but we shall see. I have my water filtration system, which I should have never have, and this is actually the last credit card that I am paying off, which is $49. That is why I made my extra debt payment 451 so that it could be a combined even number of 500 instead of being 499 which i thought kind of sucked um and then last but not least i have my american home shield which also gets automatically deducted out of my account. Um, my American Home Shield is for my, my home that I rent out. Um, I don't have any issues, but if some were to come up, it would honestly be a lifesaver. So I would rather pay $42 a month than to kick out $2,000 a month when something happens. 
So next we have the totals. Which go here. So here I will put income variable expenses. Oh, you guys can't see it. Variable expenses and fixed expenses. And then it will be the total balance. So here we have 2,011 and then we have $2,847.14. By the way, I graduated high school in 2011. Thought that was kind of cool. So this sticker here, I usually place this sticker here with the amount that is left over once I go through everything and it will either go to an extra debt payment, an emergency fund, or in this case, this month, it is going to my sinking funds for my vacation to St. Kitts in August of 2020. So this is what I have for the month of November. I will actually put in my paycheck to paycheck budget as well in another video if you have any questions about anything feel free to ask um just remember that i do split bills halfway with my boyfriend so these are half of everything so half of water half of cable half of electric and half rent and half renter's insurance every oh and half law Everything else on this list is mine and mine completely. Another thing that you see missing are my student loans. My student loans are in forbearance. Yes, I know they shouldn't be, and I know that they are accruing interest, but I am considering taking them out of forbearance next year once most of my debt is paid down. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. I will see you guys again when I do my paycheck to paycheck.